Okay, so in this video, we're gonna go over the patent document margins, right? While we'll be using SketchUp Layout. And when you open Layout, you'll be presented with this screen, Getting Started screen. This is where you get the options to select the kind of paper you're going to use. And there's quite a bit of, of, uh, of options here. So what we're gonna use is A4, and we're gonna use plain paper. So go plain paper. A4 portrait for this example. Click open, and there it is. Now, unfortunately, the margins are not visible. We're gonna have to set those visible, all right? But for starters, on the right, you'll see the pages tray. It's a good idea to always name your pages first so you don't get confused. We're gonna call this portrait. And then we're gonna modify those margins. All right, so we go to file, document setup. You wanna select paper. In the top portion, you'll see the A4 dimensions. This is from your initial selection. Pretty standard stuff, you don't have to mess with that. Right here in margins, if you select this, they'll become visible. Just kind of see it. I wouldn't really characterize that as visible. I would call that barely visible. So let's punch that up a little bit. We'll go to colors. Let's drag this to the right, the reddest of the reds. Double click that. Make sure your display resolution is high. Your output resolution is high. And then, so there you have it. Much more visible, much better. All right, so now we have to modify those margins, right? You have left, top, right, and bottom. Now let's take a look at the official dimensions for your patent design margins, okay? So I set up an image here that I created using the official guidelines that they posted. So this is according to the official publications. Notice that the margins are one inch top, one inch left, five eighths inch right, three eighths inch bottom. This is confusing, right? Uh, standard dimensions within the industry, sort of the industry norm, is to use one inch all around. And the reason is this confusion can make a patent rejection very likely uh, because people oftentimes will move their designs just barely, just barely grazing the margins, and it can get rejected. It happens all the time. Not only that, notice something else. If you're working within the landscape view, it's not, this is not the top. This is. So I made some notes here to sort of point that out. When using landscape, according to the USPTO official documentation, quote, one of the shorter sides of the sheet is regarded as the top. So even though you've changed the orientation of the page, the top still resides on this side. So I also put a note, best to use one inch for all margins to avoid confusion. And then of course I made this big arrow to, to drive that point home. This is still the top portion of the page regardless of the orientation, portrait, or landscape. All right, so this should help clarify a few things when you're working with your document margins. All right, so let's go back and let's modify those margins to be one inch all around to avoid any kind of confusion. Okay, so it'll convert automatically whether using centimeters, meters, or inches. Just put one inch, for example, converted. One inch, converted. One inch, converted. See that? Okay, so for this, there's something else to take note of See it says print margin lines? If this is selected and you export your PDF, those margins will be visible. So it's pretty much up to you and how you wanna do it. If you wanna move it into another application, you want those margins visible by all means. But in this example, we're gonna uncheck that. And of course, always use display resolution high and output resolution high. Now this is important because you wanna make sure that anything you export from any application regarding design patents is always a high resolution. Okay, so we're gonna click close. Something else you wanna take a note of, this isn't the only page you can work off of. I mean, of course, you can duplicate these pages all day and you'll be working within this one tab with multiple pages. 
that is also very helpful. Now I point this out in another video when I show you how to make patent drawings with SketchUp. Something else, if you hit Control N and add another page, you can have another tab with multiple pages in different orientations. So for in this example, Control N is basically adding another page or another document. So in this case, I'm gonna hit A4 Landscape, click Open, another tab opens up, and the former tab retains its portrait. In this one, it'll retain its landscape. So again, we're just gonna add those margins. Document setup, paper, margins. We'll do one inch all around. Punch up the color a little bit. Double click it to apply. Set your display resolution on high. Close, and there you have it. So whether you're working in portrait or landscape, oh geez. Whether you're working in portrait or landscape, you always have those margins visible. So that's how you set up your margins in layout. Hope you find it helpful. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe.